We end up with a kind of underground Ordnance Survey map of exactly what's going on. What I love about geology is, is the discovery side of it. You know, we're always discovering something new. People sometimes say, oh, isn't it all just the same? Or they're all just rocks, but more often than not, less people have seen that rock than have walked on the moon. It's unbelievably exciting. Every time we turn over something new, it's, it's something of interest, and something to get you fired up. I started at ICL in 2008, I think, so roughly 10 years ago now just as a logging geologist, so being sent underground to look at all the rocks that the drillers have produced. And then I moved up to my current position, which is senior exploration geologist. So in charge of all of the drilling, in charge of planning where we're going to be drilling next and what parts of the polyhalite we're gonna look for. I always sometimes think of it like the Ordnance Survey. So we all know that their job is to produce maps on the surface so that people can find their way around and we we kind of do something similar for the mine so we drill and we explore and we measure and we assay the rocks and then we produce plans and maps of where the good material is where the poor material is uh, which way they need to mine uh, we end up with a kind of underground ordnance survey map of exactly what's going on with the polyhalide <laughs> I usually start my day uh, coming into the office here, um, sit down, grab a coffee, get together with all the geologists in the office and just really organise what's going to happen uh, the day coming forward, what's being planned. We'll get together and we'll have a meeting with all the technical services department, so rock engineering, survey, ventilation and the geology department uh, and we'll all be in that and discuss any issues that have come up over the previous day. If there's been any safety issues within technical services or any big safety issues within the mine. ICL's position in the national mining community has changed a lot since I started. When I started, very few people knew about it. When I talked to people outside of work, they all kind of looked at me like I was an alien when I said, oh, I work in a mine in North Yorkshire. Certainly now, when I say that, people go, oh, I've heard of that mine. You're that potash mine, Bulby, isn't it? They, they have heard of it in so many different ways, whether it's through polyhalite, whether it's through national media articles, whether it's through the science that the dark matter labs do. <laughs> Recently we switched from mining potash to polyhalite. It was a pretty major thing. Obviously we've mined potash for 40 years. It's had lots of changes that have come with it. Polyhalite's a lot harder. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to extract efficiently, whereas potash is quite soft, uh, quite easy to remove. I'm really enjoying working with polyhalite, primarily because it's, it's so new, it's so different. No one's ever come across most of the things that we're coming across. Every time we find something new in our exploration, it's a world first, generally. And, and that's great. It's really interesting. It's really challenging. It's a really nice position to be in. It gives me a real buzz sometimes when people want to know about it and you think, oh, the only person you can really ask is me. And it's really nice to be able to sit down and, and see people gain a real understanding of it. Polyhalite is low chloride, and that's, if you think about potash, potash is potassium chloride, that's its molecular formula. So to get that chloride out is expensive, it's difficult, you have to dissolve the product. By contrast, polyhalite, there is halite in there, there is salt, but it's present as separate bands of salt. That's really great from a, a farmer's point of view that wants a low chloride product. For my job, we have lots of tools, all sorts of different ones that we use for different things. So one of the most important tools is a computer. And I, and I think that goes for so many jobs nowadays, but a computer is key. Then we've got things like our portable X-ray fluorescence analyzer, and that is brand new technology. It's really useful for getting 
up to the minute instantaneous information on the spot underground and not having to wait to analyse material later on, it, on the surface. So that's a really key piece of technology that we're really pushing going forward. We have a really quite extensive process from the drill point to actually analysing of a sample. So it's geologist's job to go down once that core is produced and log that core. And what that means is detailed description. So it's measurements of the angles, measurements of the minerals and their percentages, looking at the structure and the texture and how the rock has been formed, what order it's been formed in. A sample might weigh 30 kilograms. We need to reduce that down to something manageable for the labs. So there's crushing involved, there's cutting with rock saws, there's uh, riffling, and all of that results in probably 40 or so small bags of reduced polyhalite ready to go up to the labs will then conduct a number of analytical tests and give us a definitive grade result. We go to conferences, we go to meetings, regional groups, and there's loads of interest in Bulby and what Bulby's doing. Uh, and it's nice that we can get out there and, and talk to people about it. We've had a lot of work with uh, the Salt Union Mine in Cheshire. We're going down there to run some drilling programs with them. They need some some drilling expertise and, and ICL has offered to help with that. I find working at ICL generally is, is good fun, it's challenging, it's, it's really varied. You really don't know from one day to the next exactly what you're going to be doing. You'll have an outline of what work you've already got, but you could come in that morning and find there's something completely new.